some juice here so we're gonna act like it's tea and we're gonna sip on it as she sips her tea um this is more of a pillow talk type of video um because i'm just gonna get real with y'all it's about to get real not that i've been faking it with y'all to begin with but you know I do motivational Mondays. I'm about positivity. I'm about, um, you know, encouraging each other, seeing the best in people. And um, I think sometimes that can come off like I have no um, insecurities or I have no worries, um, which that is completely inaccurate in this video um, is a test to that. So... Uh, we're gonna jump right into it while I've got no beat on my face um, and you know my weave nappy you know but this is about to come out so anyway um, my face is probably one of the more It's, it's probably the insecurity that's becoming more relevant the older I get because the older I get the worse my skin is starting to look so obviously when I do my makeup videos my get ready with me's and things like that and I start off with a bare face you can obviously see the um, acne and you can see the dark spots um, and you know you can see the hair that will grow um you know sometimes along my jawline or on my chin that i do have to make sure i rid my face of um in high school my face was like smooth like i didn't even have to wear makeup until maybe early 20s um you know and that is the scarring is a cause of when I got acne, I didn't want to like put makeup over acne, so I would pop my pimples or pick my pimples and they leave scars. Um, but as far as the hair, some of them are hair bumps because as I've stated in previous videos, I do have PCOS, which is polycystic ovarian syndrome. And again, I've said this in previous videos, if any of my viewers or my subscribers are interested in wanting interested or wanting more information on PCOS I'll be more than happy to do a video on what I know about PCOS and what um, issues it's caused me signs and symptoms to look for if you think that you have it um, you know and maybe when's the best time to ask your OB um, your OBGYN if you've got it if, if you think that it's maybe something you, you have so, um, again, just comment down below if you think that that's a video that you may want more information on or you want to see. But, um, growing hair in a male pattern, meaning jawline or chin, um, is a side effect or a sign of PCOS. Um, so that I am very insecure about. Like every few days I do have to make sure that I'm plucking or tweezing um, if I need to and I have to make sure I exfoliate maybe every few days to keep it down and this doesn't always help. I typically drink water throughout my day but occasionally I do need something um, you know with a little flavor to drink so you know sometimes if my body doesn't have enough water of course that's with anybody acne will break out so um that's starting from my head down that's my first insecurity 
Um, second insecurity, um, which I do have a separate video on, are my dark spots. Um, dark neck as well as my dark elbows and knees, which is also uh, another side effect from PCOS. Um, if you can see, my neck was a lot darker. Well, I don't know if you can see it. If you go back and look at any of my previous videos when I first got onto YouTube, you can see that my neck was a lot darker before I had my um, weight loss surgery. Um, and now that I've had my weight loss surgery and my hormones are somewhat stabilizing, um, you know, that that is that's starting to lighten. So, um, and I'm also using other things to help lighten it. But again, like I said, that's another video. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Um, so that is a side effect or not a side effect. I'm sorry. An insecurity that I have about myself. Um, and one insecurity that I've been talking about, if you've been watching my weight loss videos, by the way, if you have it, what is you doing? I don't know. But, um, if you have been watching my weight loss videos, um, I've been insecure about my weight loss I think when most people think I'm losing weight I'm gonna look great it's like I don't think some people realize maybe what damage they've done to their bodies um if they were overweight for a long time but because I've always been an overweight girl um my skin elasticity it didn't go back to you know small small areas because they were never small to begin with so now that I'm losing weight um you know now I'm having some sagging issues um which is not necessarily attractive I mean for example I've showed shown you guys this before on my arms so if you can see me making a muscle you can obviously see the line of demarcation where the muscle and still some fat is still there but you're starting to see some sag saggage <laughs> if that's a word um, also in my chest area it's like my boobs have like almost deflated um, because when I was heavier a lot of it was breast tissue but a lot of it was fat um, in addition to my stomach my stomach is don't get me wrong it's a lot smaller than it was but you know you can't pick and choose how you lose the weight and um, obviously my stomach isn't forming um, the way I want it to form. I do have a separated stomach. So I have like an upper portion and a lower portion, which just irks me. Um, i trying my best to wear my sweat belts, wear my waist cinchers, um, work out and do things to... Um, kind of smooth out that line of demarcation otherwise there's always like gonna be like this separation of fat um, on my stomach so that's annoying um, now my legs are big um, I've got big legs my family's got big legs that's not something I'm concerned about um, I don't want to be a skinny girl I like my thickness in some areas um, but my legs because of the weight loss have sat are starting to sag in the inner thigh area so they're not as tight um, and of course the looser they get the more they move when you walk the more they look like you've got a lot of cellulite um, you know just because they're sagging so that inner thigh and you know right right on the side of the knee um, I'm a little insecure about um, my biggest one of my biggest insecurities is my butt. Oh my God, y'all. I'm going to try not to be like super TMI, but again, I'm just being real with y'all. I get on Instagram and I see these models. And don't get me wrong, I do know a lot of people are photoshopped. I'm not oblivious to the photoshopping. Um, but I do know a lot of women are getting the BBLs. Um, which, uh, by the way, encouraged me to do a video like this because, um, an awesome girl or woman that I follow here on YouTube myself, um, inspired me to do this video. She did a similar video, um, and I cannot remember her YouTube name. Um, I think it's Jay Majette. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put her... 
um, YouTube name on the screen um, when I find her channel. But I love her videos and she kind of did an insecurity video um, and she ended up having a BBL and she got obviously a lot of good comments and a lot of good support but she got a lot of backlash oh she doesn't love herself um because she had surgery and that is definitely not the case for people who have had any type of surgery to enhance upon themselves um i mean obviously i'm all about loving yourself loving you um you know for who you are but at in the same aspect if there are certain things about yourself that you can change that you want to change that would make you feel better I'm all for making you happy because you can only live for you. You can't live for other people. So um, a BBL and a breast lift is something that I'm seriously contemplating on. And if I decide to do it, then obviously you guys will come along on the journey with me if that's something you guys are interested in. Um, but I, my butt doesn't have a shape to it right now so um you know when i because i've lost weight i'm able to wear a few more types of clothing styles of clothing that didn't necessarily look flattering on me before the weight loss now they look a little more flattering but i don't have the curves because of how the weight loss has settled to fill it out so um I mean, I'm at another minor insecurity, but it's still an insecurity. I have really large hair bumps <laughs> on my leg. I know that sounds like, like super superficial, like in so minute to some people, but like, you know, when you're wearing dresses or when you're wearing skirts and you shave your legs, you notice like, I think they're called strawberry legs or strawberry skin or something like that. Anyway, where it looks like a strawberry and you can see like the large follicles, the large dots. And I think that there's like a, some kind of laser removal. I mean, it's not that serious to me, but it's still an insecurity that I feel because um, obviously everybody's legs doesn't don't look like this. And, and I come encounter with more people who don't have anything on their legs. So it kind of makes me feel a little like an outcast because I feel like I'm the only one. I know I'm not the only one, but in my circle, I feel like I'm the only one with something like this and I can't ever get a smooth even tone leg even when I shave so that was like a little insight to Shanti um and I can do um matter of fact I was thinking about doing something of this nature on my motivation motivation Mondays but um I'm, again, I know you guys always think that I'm about positivity, which I am. I'm about encouraging yourself, love yourself, love other people, encourage other people. Uh, but I didn't want people to think, oh, well, she's perfect. Or she thinks she's perfect. Anyway, I, I'm far from perfect. But, you know, I didn't want people to think, oh, I, ha I didn't have any issues um, about myself, which I do. Um, but obviously, I work through them. If it's something I can change, I'm going to try to change it. If it's not, I deal with it. Um, and I try to find a way to make it a positive if I can. So, yeah. Um, this video wasn't as uncomfortable as I thought. But, you know, it is what it is. That's a good thing. So, I hope you guys like this video. And for my subscribers, thank you so much for staying with me during these um, sporadic times when I have not been posting like I've stated I've been posting. So I appreciate you guys sticking with me. And hopefully for those of you watching that are not subscribed, I do hope you subscribe because when I do post my videos, I think that they are um, some good content. And um, I'd like to know from you guys, comment down below what your insecurities are. Maybe if you have any insecurities that match mine. Um, hopefully you know you're not the only one. So, you know, keep doing you. I'm going to keep doing me. Um, and I will see you guys on my next video.